Michael Olsen, on the issue of the super cycle, you've characterised it a little bit differently, the super long cycle. W walk me through how you're thinking about that. Yeah, I think I think we're the the sentiment just touched on there is consistent with what we're thinking, which is that there's less um, kind of boom and bust around specific cycles and more of a an ongoing cycle where um, there's an, an upgrade path for uh, users that want to be on a next gen device. So looking beyond the current quarter, you know, one of the reasons we see reason to continue on Apple it, through the fall at least is that we have expectations for an expanded array of iPhone 10 style or next gen devices, including um, a potential new iPhone XS and XS Plus that would have a higher price and a bigger screen. So if that plays out, then by fall there would be three devices in the new iPhone form factor, the XS, the XS Plus, as well as the current iPhone X, which would likely be discounted from its current price, which would enable a wider spectrum of buyers to upgrade. So we think it's not just the super cycle for the 10, but uh, falls into next year as well. Michael, can we spend a little bit of time talking about the battery issues? That's been a joke on Main Street for a long, long time, that if you take the upgrade, all of a sudden your iPhone's start slowing down and things don't work the way they used to. We learned something in the last couple of weeks, the last month, that actually it was real. That slowdown was real. It was not imagined. Do you see that translating into any kind of damage into brand Apple and ultimately sales? I, I think there's always been some degree of, I guess you could call it conspiracy theory, that, that Apple was uh, negatively impacting our performance uh, for, for iPhone user phones uh, as they upgrade to an, a new iOS. And now they're saying, in fact, they are to, to try to help conserve battery life. And whether people believe that or not, either way, it it uh, proves annoying for users and ends up resulting uh, typically in people wanting to upgrade more quickly. So the question is, does it result in uh, people wanting to upgrade to a different device because of this. And I think, generally speaking, most people aren't going to switch to an entirely different ecosystem uh, just as a result of this.